everybody so in this segment as i've shared with you in the past i am in my 50s i'm thankful to be in my 50s but being that I am in my 50s, I also have to go by a certain regime and regimen that seems to work um, for me um, with the assistance of my wonderful dermatologist who I often talk about. I'm going to briefly share with you how I prepare myself every night, the steps that I take and the products that I use every single night. And ma majority of these I'm looking at them on my counter. The majority of the products that I have, I've been using 95% of them for at least seven, eight years now. And I started to use majority of these products, as you guys know, because I have oily, acne sensitive skin. So I have been prescribed most of them because of that reason. And so far it's helped me through my 30s, 40s, and now into my 50s. So I don't foresee changing my regimen anytime soon unless my dermatologist says it's time for us to shift a little bit. And one of my products that I used to put on every night, I don't do it every night. I do it every other night, but I'll share that with you when I get to the end uh, what I put on as my final step. And that's what I don't use every night now. But everything else is definitely my daily regimen. So let's get started. Okay, first thing I do is if I have on a little makeup, like I do have on a little foundation today, um, the new one that I went over with you is the Kat Von D. So that's actually what I have on right now. And so I'm going to take the preliminary off with the Bioderma water. And then I'm going to clean my face. So... This is the first thing I do when I know I have on any type of foundation. So this is the Bioderm. It's not gonna take all of my makeup off. I just wanna take some of the initial makeup off so I'm not relying on um, scrubbing my face so hard with the, um, with the facial cleanser when I do that step next. So yes, foundation came off with that. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit more. One more, one more, one more. And I just really started to use this water. I know some other YouTubers use Biodarm and some other brands. So I don't think whatever brand you use really matters. You use whatever that works best for you, but I kind of like this just to take off the initial steps when I know I have on any makeup other than my tenant moisturizer that I went over with you guys before. All right, so I got off the initial makeup anyway with the Biodurum water. Okay, next step is my facial cleanser. And my facial cleanser is the Plexion Cleansing Paps and this is prescription based. I, I've been using Plexion well over, it might be, since I've been going to Dr. Graves. So it, it might have, might be close to uh, 10 to 12 years now. There are other brands, depending upon what pharmacy you, you get your prescription from. Um, at one point, I actually used to get a generic in that, um, which I didn't like as brand as well as the branded because I didn't feel that it was evenly distributed on the makeup, on the cleansing pads itself. Um, so I was thankful that the pharmacist was able to switch it back to the branded name uh, for Plexion. Generally, I don't mind getting anything in generic form when I know it's the same product, but in this case, I definitely noticed the difference. And it's because I was using a product for so long that I knew. Now see that you guys, just by using the water first, hardly any other makeup now is coming off because most of it came off with the uh, the Bioderm water. But still, you have to cleanse your face every day. I am going to put my hair out of the way. Oops. <laughs> 
Next is my eye makeup remover. My eye makeup remover is by Kiehl's. And it is called the Midnight Recovery. I used to, I've used many eye makeup removers over the years. The main thing for me, as long as I have something that's cream based or an oil based to it, I don't really like ones that more watery based because I found myself pulling around my eyes more and trying to get it, trying to get the eye makeup, eye makeup off compared to something as oil based. One of my favorite eye makeup removers over the years used to be Avon has a cream like a lotion cream eye makeup remover which I've loved over the years and Kiehl's used to make theirs as a a cream lotion like eye makeup remover and they discontinued it I was so upset because I love that product I used that one for years and so then Kiehl suggested uh, there was another young lady who used to use that one as well. She switched to this one when she no longer could get that one and she works for Kiehl's. And she says, trust me, you're gonna like that one. I was like, mm, I don't know. I'm used to looking something that looks more like a lotion, which has always been my preference. And so I thought, okay, I'll give it a shot. And three bottles later, I'm still using it. So let's go clean the eye makeup off. Okay, eye makeup remover, check, complete. So now, let's see, so far that's one, two, three steps. Four step, this is my, basically my version of using a toner. It is a prescription and it is the clindamycin. So I have also been using this one for probably over 10 years as my toner. And obviously you'll use whatever that works best for you, but definitely we have to clean off any amount of residue that's left on our face after we cleanse it and I just like to double triple check to make sure everything is off my face so I do not have any clogged pores which uh, which prevents me from breaking out so here we go toner was just used clindamycin check now I do um uh, I have Three quick steps left, but um, I think I'm gonna do my eye uh, eye cream next. So the eye cream I've recently started to use is by Barbara Sturm, and it's um it's a really nice eye cream, kind of expensive if you ask me. I've tried different ones over the years. I've tried. Um, some from my dermatologist. I've tried some from the department stores. And, but you know how it is. You're always looking, you're all, we're always on a hunt for the latest and greatest or something that we haven't tried before. Is it gonna be a difference? Am I gonna like it better than the other one? And we keep going and we keep going, we keep going, we keep going. So I keep going. So I'm trying this one. I will tell you, even if you can see how much I put on my, on my, on my finger, that's actually a little more than normal. But literally a little bit definitely goes a long way. My version of night cream, it, it is a prescription base and it is a retinol gel. So the brand that I'm using is Tretinin Gel, which is, which is a prescription base. But there are over-the-counter products that are gonna be less strength and percentage. Like if you could see it, that says 0.05. You can buy some strengths over the counter, which I believe are going to be 0.01 or 0.02. But if you really aren't, uh, if you really don't develop like cystic acne and clogged pores as easy as me, you probably don't need anything this strong and having something over the counter may do just fine. Um, but once again, the 0.05 is definitely prescription. So this product I used to use every single day. Dermatologists also wanted me to tone back, tone down or tone it down a little bit. He felt also that I didn't have to use it every other day, every day. But before I used to use this product, my cleansing pads, I used to use all this stuff twice a day, every day for years. But now my skin is changing a little bit. The products 
I guess now my, my face is really adapted to using the medicated products every day and I don't really have to use it as much. And I think a lot of it too is my eating habits have changed. So different things have changed in my life too that I think that definitely have played a role. It's not about just using prescription-based medication products. So let's put on a little bit. I definitely feel, just like anything, sometimes when we know that if we're going through something stressful or, uh, you know, it changes the, the chemical in our body and it comes out in certain ways. And sometimes it's through our face. Sometimes things happen to our hair. Sometimes things happen to our nails. So our body can be affected through stress in different ways. The things that we eat you know, takes a toll and it, it comes out in certain ways. You can tell if we're eating good, if we're eating bad. So just like anything. So all we're gonna do is just do our very best. So I put on a, I put some around my mouth. And then I, I take it and then I put some on my decolletage and my neck a little bit to try to keep my double chin up as much as possible. So that completes my nighttime regimen. And the very last thing I do before I leave my bathroom is put on my lip balm. And the lip balm that I'm currently using is Lip Luck. And that is it. So you see my before and now this is the after. So this is how I go to bed every single night. And I do this routine, I don't care if I'm away or if I'm home. I do the exact same routine every single night, whether I'm in the bath or in the shower. I do not miss a step because I truly feel that cleaning your face properly definitely will make a difference if you have sensitive skin, acne prone skin. Um, and as we get older, we definitely have to have more of a routine and uh, give our face a little bit more love than maybe we did when we were in our 20s or in our 30s. So. But anyway, so anyway, let me know if you guys found this to be a help. And if you have any questions about any products that I've just shared with you, please do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, put any questions you want uh, right down below. And if I can help and guide you in any area or any suggestions based on my personal experience, I would absolutely love to do so. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the love the comments and the likes. I appreciate it. Have a great, great week and I'll talk to you soon.